Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well, and if you're new here, welcome. My name's Jenna, and I'm a full-time online clothing reseller. So basically, I sell clothing on the internet for a living, and I absolutely love it. I share a lot of my journey here on this YouTube channel, so welcome, and don't forget to subscribe. But today, I have a haul video of items that I've sourced to sell on my Poshmark closet. And typically, the way that I get my inventory is going going to thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, places like that to find clothing and things to sell online. But of course, with everything going on in the world, everything's closed and we are staying at home in order to stay safe, stop the spread. I haven't been out of my house in weeks. So I am looking for different ways to source inventory because I am fortunate I can still do a lot of my business from home. However, I do want to continue to add new inventory to my closet, my boutique in order to continue to have sales and grow my business while I can. So I'm getting creative with ways to find inventory and one of them I'm going to share with you today is looking online and sourcing online. Specifically, I bought some stuff from an app or a website called ThreadUp. I actually have um, a couple different orders here. So ThreadUp, um, this is not sponsored at all. I bought all this stuff with my own money. I'm just going to share like my honest opinion and everything. Um, but I've ordered from them in the past, probably at least a few years ago, but I am fortunate enough to live in Atlanta where we have a ton of thrift stores, estate sales, just different places to get inventory. So for me, it's a little more cost effective to typically shop in person. But with looking online, I wanted to still see if I could find, you know, pre-owned clothing and stuff like that that fits the style of my Poshmark closet. And if you have followed me or if you're familiar with me, I do have a specific style it's a little more like bohemian western casual kind of a vibe so when I went on thread up I was looking for stuff that would fit my closet and I think I approach it a little bit differently maybe than other people approach sourcing online because I'm looking more at style versus brand sometimes brand is still important to me but for me I want it to fit the overall like aesthetic of my closet because I'm selling things based on a style and a certain look um, and there's definitely pros and cons to shopping online. So, and shopping on ThreadUp in particular. And the main thing that I noticed, of course, is cost. While um, I never really talk about specific cost of goods on my channel, I will say that stuff that I bought on ThreadUp or what I noticed on there is typically two to three times what I usually pay for inventory. And of course, this just really depends. It's gonna be different for everyone because cost of goods really vary all over the country, wherever you live. Um, I know like for instance, in New York, stuff is really expensive and maybe in a smaller town in Alabama, it could be, you know, a lot cheaper to buy things so it just really varies but online I would say overall it is a little bit more expensive um, the other thing is you're not necessarily going to know the condition of the item they describe it but I noticed they're not as in-depth on the des description on ThreadUp, so you really don't get a ton of information. You're just basically hoping for the best. So I haven't opened up this stuff because I kind of wanted to share my first reaction on like condition and what I received. Um, but the pros are you're getting the stuff shipped directly to your house. So I ordered it all online from the comfort of my home, my couch, and then, um, you know, it's being delivered to my door. So that is definitely a perk. It does take a lot of time to look through the site. And especially for me, since I was looking more for styles um, versus like just looking up a specific brand, it did take me a while to find this stuff. But I don't know. I still want to get inventory and keep my business afloat. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned this is not sponsored at all. I bought all of this stuff with my own money. I do have an affiliate link that I think everyone has when they, um, join ThreadUp. So if you're new to ThreadUp, if you've never ordered from them before and you want to try it, I do have a link in the description box below for $10 off your first order if you want to check that out. But like I said, this stuff, I'm just going to give you my honest opinion and let's go ahead and get into it. So I did place an order um, all together. I forget exactly how many items that I bought, but they sent it in four different packages. So that is one thing with ThreadUp. They have um, warehouses like all over the country. So just depending on where your item is being stored, you might get a bunch of different 
boxes. So I made one order, but I got four different packages. Okay, so the first batch of items right here, I actually have these already out of the box because the box when it came in the mail was a little bit wet on the outside and I didn't want the items to get ruined. So I took them out of the box and I'll go ahead and show you these. And I'm gonna start with a belt. I love selling belts. This one has a really cool buckle as well as some floral embroidery. It's got this sunshine on it. And this one is by Lucky Brand. It looks like it's never been worn. It still has the tag on the inside, so I think this was a good find. Belts sell really well for me, so that's definitely a category that I look at when I'm looking online, and I think I have a few more in here. And then another thing that I love selling are graphic tees. So I love looking at graphic tees, and I found this one. Hopefully the lighting's okay. I'm in my sunroom, but this is a Grateful Dead just burnout graphic tee. It is by Chaser, which is a good brand. This brand does sell pretty well for me, but I bought it honestly based on the style and it's in really good condition. It looks like it's hardly been worn and that's a size large. Okay, and then another graphic band tee. Well, this one is a tank top and this one is Rolling Stones and I like it because it has the little collar around the top. And this one's by Bravado. It's a size medium. And sometimes what I'll notice with a lot of their t-shirts and stuff, it'll just say assorted brands because um, it's not like a specific brand that they have listed. So if it's, I think, Bravado, like this one, it wasn't listed as Bravado. It just said assorted brands. But again, since I was buying based on style, it didn't really matter to me. And then I did get a tote bag. And this is just a really beautiful embroidered tote bag it's got a lot of details going on it's actually new with tags and this is by a brand called america and beyond i've sold this brand before but again picked it up just based on the style i think that's a really nice piece okay now i'm going to open up one of the unknown packages And what's nice with ThreadUp is some of the stuff you are able to return. So if you get something and it's not up to the quality or your expectations, you can send the items back. And that's a pretty simple process and you can do it for, I think, store credit, site credit, or get your money back. Okay, yes, another belt. And this one I did um, pick up based on the style Again, it is just a really pretty embroidered floral belt. And there are no tags on this one. It looks a lot like this designer Jenny Krause, which I've sold before, but since there's no tag on it, I'm not gonna list it as any specific designer. I'm just going to you know, measure it and list it as an embroidered belt. And I do notice sometimes on this stuff, thread up adds like their own tag so even though there's a tag on it I'll take this off because it's not like it's the brand tag okay another t-shirt I honestly don't remember what I ordered because I probably ordered this about a week ago and I was waiting for all the packages to come in before doing this video okay so the next item is this Grateful Dead t-shirt and the back of this one has the tour dates on it it is by Junk Food. I do like this brand. It's a size medium. Okay, and then the other thing I have is just this box. I mean, they do package their stuff up pretty nicely. It's wrapped up pretty well. Ooh, okay. I remember ordering this one item and I had no idea what it was gonna be like because it wasn't listed as like any brand. I just loved the way it looked online. So it's this like woven, Killam style bag. I'm, I believe that's what this fabric called Killam. Let me see if there's a brand on it. It's really, really well made. It feels like leather. Yeah, it smells like leather. So I'm pretty sure this is a leather bag. Okay, it's by Killam Art and it's made in Turkey. So let me show you the tag. So that's what the tag looks like. But again, I don't really care about a brand. This is super clean. It looks like it's brand new, never been used. And just a really nice, unique style. I am really happy with this. I love the colors and just the condition is amazing. The style, that is probably my favorite find so far. And it's one of those things that I just didn't know what I was gonna get. 
with buying it online. Graphic tees is really what I was looking at the most because that's what I've been selling a lot of. So I tend to look at like my more recent sales and see what's selling for me. And that's what I try to focus on when sourcing. So this is a Tom Petty graphic tee and it has like the cold shoulder cutouts. This looks like it's never been worn. It's a size large, it's by Chaser. But yeah, this is in amazing condition. This one, I loved the saying on it, Ask me about my aura, and it is by Bando. It's a size small. This is like an online, they make like really cute, funky stuff. And this one's in really good condition as well. And then one more item, one more graphic tee. Oh, this one's fun. It says, lovely day for a Guinness. It's a size medium. But yeah, this one's in really good condition. I'm gonna um, look at everything a little bit closer. So that was everything from my order on ThreadUp. And overall, I'm really happy with the items that I got. The condition was excellent. I love the style of everything. So I'm definitely gonna get it all listed ASAP in my Poshmark closet. Um, I'm going to continue to look on ThreadUp for more items and also just looking for other creative ways to find inventory. I'm currently going through my personal closet, which I know I've mentioned to you guys before because I have a lot in there, but it's nice to supplement from different places as well, especially because who knows how long it's going to be before we can get outside and go to thrift stores and places like that. Um, again, really the only con to me is, and it's not even necessarily a con, it's the price is definitely higher and um, it takes a lot of time to look online and find these items. So the margins are going to be a little bit smaller, but since it's coming directly to my door, I don't necessarily mind that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.